Okay then YouTubers, it's uh, Monday afternoon, time for Physics Fun, it's uh, the 29th of April. So what am I doing? Well I'm looking at Lenz's Law, um, what have I got? I've got a Helmholtz core, I've got a cool data logger, so this is the Vernier kit which is quite nice to use. Voltage sensor, so I'm going to pick up the potential difference and what am I going to do? I'm going to take a magnet like this and I'm going to drop it through the Helmholtz coil and I'm going to do it one way, I'm going to turn it around I'm going to do it the other way but I'm not going to use this magnet. I have my amazing neodymium set of magnets and you're thinking well what's going on here? Well look, this is not working. This is working. So what I've done is I've used my red and blue magnet to check my polarity. So this means that when I drop the magnet, I'll be able to tell which way it's round. So let's have a look, let's get rid of that one. So super fast then. So I'm gonna collect one way and then the other. So we're gonna go north in first and south in second. So here we go. So let's start to collect, collect, drop. And this time we'll go south first and then we're gonna stop. And there we go, Now then. Okay, so, what have I got here? Well, first of all, you can see that my spike here goes down and then up, and the second spike goes up and then goes down because I've reversed the polarity of my magnet. And I'm gonna zoom in on one of them. And we're hopefully, hold on, let's get this right. Need the right bit on the software. Let's zoom in, if I can do it, can I do it? Hold on. Can we zoom in? Yes. What can I see? Well, I'm going to com compare the time here to the time here. And what we should see is that this time here is shorter because as the magnet fell through to the middle, it then accelerated, didn't it? So this time is shorter. So there we go. Lenses law with a Helmholtz coil.